No, but there's that whole, like, Kevin Bacon game thing where you can connect everyone. Six sure. degrees. And that's so I feel like that's probably a thing, and that's probably also an algorithm now that's running through all these sort of celebrity news things. Oh, Google. absolutely. Do you know? Do you know the first movie that Kevin Bacon was in? Are you are you, are you aware of what that is? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, I do have the answer. No. I, I do have the answer. I'll let you know. So, but this is the origin of the six degrees. Like I, I have all of this okay. info. It was Animal House. Okay. Back, back in nineteen seventy eight. I believe. Wow. Uh, he played a he played a, a small part as one of the um uh evil frat boys and uh that began six degrees of Kevin Bacon. because um, there were so many people in that movie that like yeah John Belushi, um sure. John Belushi it was uh, John Belushi was in that. Um, uh, I remember John Belushi was in that, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he he certainly was, and he ended up dying yeah. four years after that movie was made. And, and yeah, in, in that short time, he became some would say most would say deservedly a, a legendary comic actor. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, you've seen Animal House, right? I have not seen Animal House. <laughs> so, so what do you think about it? What, what, what's your take on, on Animal House, having not seen it? Okay, so I think that it's about these sort of drunk frat kids at a school that's kind of dysfunctional and funny, and a lot of funny shit happens, and that's what I think. Did about. you like it? Did you Did you like the movie, having not seen it? Yeah, yeah, I loved it. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Yeah. It's very funny, apparently. Cool. I, I mean, I do so know do the you... theme. I do know the theme between, like, uh, the zero point zero scene because Artie recited the whole thing on Howard Stern one time. He recited the oh, whole right. thing. Oh, right. the only right. reason Mr. I know. Mister yeah. Bluto Blutowski has no great point average. Yes. Zero point point zero zero. So, uh, any other movies that you haven't seen that I uh, want to give your take on? Yeah, yeah, I really like Saw because I didn't see that, and I like how. So what's like, that about? Well, that's about this guy named Carrie Elwes, and he's stuck in this basement, and there's this clown dude on a TV screen. Who has Whoa. these games for him to play, and it's really fun. And he chops that off his. That sounds leg. almost like a. Is that like? Is that like a? Is that like one of those? Um, I don't know. Teen teen romps, perhaps. Like I don't know what you characterize that as. Like it sounds really kind of light and funny. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, one of those eighties movies. Um, I, I saw, saw it. Really... I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's great! So Carrie Owens, he was in the Princess Bride. You have seen that movie, right? Of course, I have seen the Princess Bride. Yes, inconceivable. Yes. It's it's inconceivable that you hadn't seen that movie. So uh, yeah, we don't we, we don't need to talk about that. No, no. I mean, who hasn't seen that? It's like, why would you give a movie review for a movie that you've seen, everybody else has seen? We already know. Yeah. That's exactly four. what happens. Right. Yeah. Um, there's also so, this um, other yeah. film. Oh, there's sure. this other film called the the Big Big Lebowski, which is about oh, this wow. fat that about? guy. It's about this fat guy called the dude, and he has a rug, and this guy comes and pees on it, and they go bowling, and and John Goodman loses his mind and pulls out a gun. Whoa, that's a that's quite a plot. Holy, holy it's crap. so cool. Yeah. Is that like an action movie? Like, no, not really. It's kind of more of a, a docudrama. Oh. 
Yeah. Wow. It's not boring, perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah. I, I don't know who would want to see that. I mean, it, some of the elements sound interesting, like the bowling, maybe. And uh, yeah. I also, but, I also really, I also really liked adaptation. Oh, my uh, friend uh, told me that's your favorite movie. Um, you haven't seen it though, right? No, uh, but it, it's it's about Nicolas Cage, and he has a twin, and hmm. they're both going balls, and they can't write oh, wow. anything anymore. They 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 they're learning to like write English, and talk to people. Yeah. Oh wow, that's um. It sounds like almost like Oscar bait. Like yeah, yeah. Like there's, one also, of those. there's something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when it was also epic, cl- like, gosh, that's exciting. So you got to go see that one. Uh, there's also being John Malkovich. There's also being John Malkovich, which is about uh, this guy named John Malkovich, and he has this like room that people go into, and uh-huh. then they come out the other side, and Cameron Diaz is in it. Oh wow! There's an actor named John Malkovich. He's- do you have anything to do with no it? Or you, way. I guess you would, no, you haven't seen it. No way. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, also, that's that's wild. Like, so yeah, the movie's called Being John Malkovich. Yeah, yeah. And it's also it's about a room. It's about a room. Yeah, that people go into, and then Cameron Diaz is there. Yeah, it's super cool. I mean, like, why wouldn't you want to go see that? Well, you haven't, and I think that says yes. everything about that movie. And and yeah. I really want to thank you for uh, these reviews because yeah. I have, I have really one allowing more. people to get to the heart of. Oh, we have one more. So this is very exciting. Like you don't really ever get like I don't even know how to say it a good review anymore. So that you know, everyone's yeah. talking about movies that everyone's seen. Like oh yeah, like Star Wars sucks. All that. Yeah. Right. So so it's nice that we can get this really refreshing take on on movies that you haven't seen. And um, yeah. so what's the other one? Yeah. Okay. So there's this film called Easy Rider. Okay. And it's Easy about Rider. these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about this guy named Jack Nicholson, and he sits by a fire. And he drinks a cactus. He drinks what? A cactus. He drinks a cactus by the fire. Yeah. It's pretty high concept. Is it one of those, like, teen comedies? It's a really long film, too, apparently. Really long? Yeah. Must must be a big cactus. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Or, or, or they have a lot of wood to burn. Yeah. While he's sitting yeah. there it, drinking the cactus in front of the fire. Yeah, all by himself. Yeah. yeah. Dr- yeah. Is there like should we warn parents uh, of drug use, perhaps in that one, or do you know? Well, I, I think it's just the cactus. I think it's fine. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone should drink cactus, but you know, I think. You know, in this case, it's Jack Nicholson, so it's fine. Well, it's a movie, too, you know. I mean, people sometimes get confused about, you know, what's portrayed on the big screen. You know, it's so big and exciting. And then they want to go out and and actually do that. It's probably not a good idea to emulate, you know, what's in a movie. Like, I'm not going to... I'm not going to manufacture a lightsaber and like go tearing through the town like with a laser sword, right? Slicing everybody up because it looks cool, like it's it looks sure. fun, but I'm not. Yeah. you know, I I have the, I have the ability to understand that that's probably not a good idea. So right. So so if any kids are listening, probably should stop listening to this. But even if you are, don't sit by fires and drink cactus just because Jack Nicholson did that. I know he's like a big deal and all that, but it's a movie. 
I, yeah. I didn't mean to get too stern right there, but you know, it's a movie. Like, it's for fun. Oh, I, I, I have, I, have, I just thought of another, another three, oh. but they're they're okay. all one movie. Another part, three. Part of, <laughs> yeah, they're all another part of three. one movie. They're all oh, part of one great. movie. Oh, a trilogy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's called Lord of the Rings, all right? And basically, hmm. this little dwarf dude who was North. He goes, he goes into this place where there's an old yeah. guy named Gandalf and a hot chick named Liv Tyler. And it's like three like, movies. Yeah. An old guy named Gandalf? Yeah. So there's a, okay, let me get the, see if I get this right. There's a, a little guy. Yeah, he paid more. No, no, there's, okay. there's no rings. There's no, there's no rings at all. No. So he goes to no. see an old guy named Dandruff, and then Dandruff yeah. introduces him to Liv Tyler? Yes. Wow. You know, I always thought that Liv Tyler kind of looked like a horse. Does she play a horse really? in this movie? No. I I love Liv Tyler. I'm a huge Liv Tyler fan, but then, oh, you know, not, I... I'm, I'm, oh, uh, sorry. I'm, I mean, I'm not, like, saying a bad thing. I think that maybe... Um, I don't know. She could play a horse. Oh, wait, but would she would she get that role over Sarah Jessica Parker? Or um, uh, what's what's the uh, pretty woman actress? What's her name? Oh, Julia Roberts. My God. So so the three of them. Julia Roberts, Liv Tyler, and Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah. Could oh you know hold on let me look something up. Oh they are actually this three starring actresses in the new My Little Pony live action film. No way. Yeah, they're gonna play ponies. I think there's wow. two for it. It'll be great. That's amazing. So, I we really went off track about your on your review, but I just got so excited about the possibility of Liv Tyler playing a, a horse. Um, <laughs> so, so Lord of the Rings, like worth worth not seeing. Lord of the Rings with no rings. Yeah, sure, not seeing. It's worth not seeing. Yeah. Sounds fantastic. Oh, oh, also, <laughs> also there's more. Um, there's always yeah. more, more. Yeah, <laughs> there's there's a film called Hellraiser with this guy who has these needles stuck in his face, and he's yeah. trying to get them out. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that sounds painful. <laughs> like, yeah, is, man. Is that a is that a documentary? It's emotional. It's an emotional, dramatic comedy, actually. I, I wow. I, I actually yeah. kind of want to see that. But yeah. I, but I probably won't. And and still no, enjoy don't, don't it just it. as much. Mm-hmm. Don't. Yeah. So you recommend yeah. continuing not to not see it and then yeah. really enjoying it. Yeah. Just like I have wow. all these years. Yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah, uh, cool. yeah shorts, uh, movie reviews, uh, unlike most movie reviews that I've ever heard, that's, uh, that's a nice fresh <laughs> take on, uh, on cinema. Maybe, yeah. maybe we should make this a regular segment. You probably should, yeah. I'll have to find some more <laughs> that I haven't seen. The movie shorts has not seen. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah.